Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2024 Keystone Montana model number 295 RL. It's a nice, short, full profile fifth wheel weighing 11,800 pounds. Great couples model for you. This is about as dangerous as being Hunter Biden's best friend. And I'm here with my friend, my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Handelmeyer on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, future campers, happy campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. The new graphics on the high countries. Woohoo! They're pretty sweet. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest. We're everywhere. Follow us along. Enjoy this awesome unit. Who am I, Brennan? You're me, bud. But I was leaning against a tire. <laughs> you just like relaxed for that intro. That was great. We got ourselves a great looking front fiberglass cap, new exterior, new interior. We're gonna get to all of it there, but there's a windshield in that front fiberglass cap, bringing nice natural light over into the bedroom. You're also able to look out of the bedroom over top of the peasants. We got our rotating, or sorry, road armor pin box in through here, rougher style storage on the right, some uh, extra storage here where your batteries are gonna go, the vent for that is there, a nice little light right there. Then. We have our electric auto leveling controls from there. It's a four point electric auto leveling system. We have a drop frame, which is a great feature on a shorter fifth wheel like this. Lots of height in that pass through, great width as well. You can see proof of all the aluminum framing and you can see this is heated off the furnace with a nice LED light strip right across the full length. So, you know, sometimes you have like a light here but something's blocking that light. You're not able to really see stuff. So it's nice that it's up high and it's right across the full width. Right here is our docking station where we have gate valves, low point drains, black water flush kit, city water connection, winterizing outside shower, nice light in through there too. That's actually motion sensitive and you can add some additional solar in through there as well. 12 gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent, and then an additional gate valve down in through here for your kitchen gray tank. Uh, 16 uh, inch tires, road armor suspension to match up with that road armor pin box, and then a 50 amp detachable style cord here at the back. Breakthrough like a moose, bud. Like a moose. <laughs> we were talking about moose and wolves on the weekend, what were we, Brandon? We were. And a moose oh. goes through there way easier. What's that? And a moose would have went through there way easier. But not with as much style. No. We got ourselves a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, which is all like my grandmother's bathing suits. We're also prepped up there for a backup camera. And we also have a class three receiver with four way wiring down there at the bottom. Door side windows off our main slide. Two awnings on this model. So we got great awning coverage. Both of them have LED lights and then great frameless windows on this guy as well. And then we got that nice more right step above, secure all the way to the ground, lend a hand grab handle, and then the other side of our pass through with an outside receptacle, 30 pumper paint tanks on either side, outside speakers. Let's see what kind of travel access we have, Brendan Hennemeyer. When they're the frameless windows, that's the dual pane window option. Good call. You will see framed windows out there in the high countries. But they're single pane. Yes. Great point, Brendan. Access to the fridge. Yeah, you just gotta squeeze through here. Just gotta squeeze through there. You can get to the bathroom, get to the bedroom. Let's get this guy opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 295 Montana and the interior here, it's really nice, Brendan. Like the update they made for the second half of 2024 is pretty fantastic. Um, let me get these lights for us here quickly, eh? Mm -hmm. There we go. This is almost like, uh, like this wood color is like a double double. You know what I mean? Like a, like a coffee, but with just two creamer in it. Really, really nice and creamy. <laughs> very, very luscious. Wouldn't you say, Brendan? Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then how about this furniture? I love that. That is uh, very, uh, it's elegant, it's Victorian looking almost. Really, really nice stuff. We don't have any carpet here in the slide. It's got that woven mat, electric recliners, double cup holder, and then in case you wanna uh, snuggle with a significant other, you can do that in through there. Door side windows facing your campsite, and then our freestanding table and chairs over here. I've always been a fan of this style of chair, just the simplicity of it, nice and nimble. They've got to a little bit darker fabric for the second half of 2024, but still great looking stuff. And we do have a leaf here in the tabletop that's gonna pull out, give yourself some more space. And then these windows are facing the campsite. Here at the back, 
We've got the other nice piece of furniture. That's a trifold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You're sleeping two people there if they're in love. We got receptacles on both sides of the couch, USBs on both sides of the couch, and a nice couch side table. Windows across the back. See what I mean how nice this wood is though? Oh, I agree. Like that is really, really nice stuff. I'm a big, big fan of that. Our TV's across from our theater seats. We got our JBL sound system, electric fireplace, a couple smaller drawers on either side of that, and then some great cupboard space here that's nice and deep for all your cereal boxes. When you pull this TV out, there is storage in behind it. And then we got counter space on both sides of our three burner stovetop, bigger oven, it's a GE as well. We've got cupboard space on either side, cupboard space across the top, and then same thing on either side of our oven. And this is a little bit bigger oven than we're used to seeing. You can actually, you actually got some width in through there to put a pizza pan. And then there's these burners are a little more spread out as well. So you can actually get three of them on the uh, stove top there. And then right here's our 12 volt, uh, 16 cubic foot Furion fridge. Fridge on the right, freezer on the left. And then island or pantry? Pantry. Is everything you're open for? Oh yeah. Nice pantry in through there. And then we got our nice hutch where we have a receptacle. Another receptacle there. A couple drawers down below. I imagine some of these are hiding the breakers and the fuses, but I was wrong. That's the third time this year I've been wrong already, Brennan, and it's only March. All your controls for everything are there. Now let's talk about the island. I think you're right, Brennan. I f Brennan, before we got started on the video, Brennan made the point this island is just a little bit smaller with this countertop extension. I love that. It feels like there's great space in through here. Tons. Yeah, I think that's a great uh, little adjustment they made. If they, in fact, made it, sure feels like they did. Undermount stainless steel sink, pull-out faucet, and then cupboard space here. Garbage can built in there. And then we've got, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say built in there. Garbage can set in there. And then we've got the uh, solid surface sink insert, so they're going to fill the gap up. And then four drawers here down the right side of our island. I like the lighting. I love the woods. Great looking living room. Space here underneath the stairs to put some shoes. We've also got a nice little spot here to hang up some coats. And as we come in the bathroom here, um, yeah, come right through, Brennan, good call. We got ourselves our porcelain toilet. Dump truck fits for sure. Lots of space in through there. We've got a cupboard behind me. All right, we've also got a glass shower radius door sliding into here. I'm six feet tall. You can see here I fit nice and easily. You notice we got recessed lighting in here too, Brendan? Ooh, nice touch. Montana. Seamless counters, undermount plastic sink, couple of drawers, nice cupboard there, and the medicine cabinet across the top. Now this bed slide is longer than most bed slides. And what that gives you is the bed, the slide continues here into the washroom, gives you this bonus cupboards right through here. That's laundry prep down below. Great storage there. And then another thing that gives you is a nice bigger, nice big bedside table, open storage there, CPAP shelves on either side with USBs and re receptacles. Sorry, USB receptacle, receptacle on that side. Nice window beside the bed, king size bed with storage here underneath it. All right. And then this is what I'm talking about. You like, you got that windshield up front, you're looking out, right? Imagine the view you're gonna have at the campground. Fantastic stuff, receptacle USB, hanging storage on either side of that windshield with a shelf across the top. One more cupboard here. Two large drawers here down below. Another cupboard here. And then six drawers built into our dresser. Fantastic stuff, eh, Brennan? Oh yeah. That's the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, leave us a comment down below, and have yourself a good day.